I'm going to show you how to disable the new button in a configurable workspace uh, for all configurable workspaces for a given type. So in this particular case is we don't want anybody creating maintenance directs directly. Uh, those should be created within our application. So we want to hide this new button. To do that, it's a few steps. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to go to declarative actions, everyone's favorite. We're going to click on UX declarative actions. For some reason, there's this particular uh, filter that I won't let you disable. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go up to the URL and get rid of everything after the sys declarative action assignments list do. And we need to do a couple things with our filter first. We want to find one where the action label is new because we want to basically find the global uh, 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 new button and add some um, some metadata to that. And the action um, uh, name is create new.uxf and we only want to show the ones where the application is global because again we're, we're trying to reference the main new button for global applications on the new um, configurable workspaces so uh, there's one that says create new without this uxf um, suffix that's for the old uh, um, agent workspace but again, we need to only we only want to find the one for this the new UXF version. So, so we're going to applications global. We're going to run that. As you can see, there's still three of them. Uh, we don't want the related list, so I'm going to right click and show matching on list. So there's still three of them. We don't want the cable the category property right. Uh, we want to go to table global, and then we. Um, want to go to this add the view field there and that will show this that we have two uh, global versions of this uh, button one's for integration hub designer and we don't want that one we just want the one where the view is empty so oh, oops and then now the trick is uh, is yeah so click us to open up the um, action assignment record and what's going to happen here is our application's in a different scope. So you've got to jump through a couple little hoops here. So the first thing I've got to do, if I want to create a new action exclusion, you'll see there's no new button. And that's because this related list is on a global. Um, so the new button's disabled because I'm currently in this fleet vehicle management. So you've got to switch back and forth a couple times. So I'm going to switch back to global. you'll see the new button for action exclusions appears. I'm going to click new. But you'll notice in the global, I can't reference the table I'm trying to, to apply this rule for. So what I'll do is I'll go back to scope and uh, I will type fleet vehicle management, which is my application scope. I'm going to change the table to main rec and then I'm going to click exclude this table. Um, you can also use this to exclude um, child tables that inherit from this table depending on what rules you need. I'm going to submit this. If I go back here, I'll reload and you'll see the new button is gone. Thank you.